just about 6.30 in the morning and we're going into sunrise on the Coosa River going in another day. Now the anchorage here at uh, marker uh, or mile marker 525, 524 is uh, exposed to barge traffic and they're rocking and rolling all night long so wouldn't be one of my favorite stops. Got these long expanses of water to go over on the Coosa River and uh, the water depth is about 15, 18 feet. So kind of a little deeper Lake Okeechobee if you will. At the end of this long run, which we're doing 90 degrees on, you'll come to a uh, Ashpoo Tusaw cutoff. And that's, that's what we've been doing. We're running down here to the end, and there we are. And here's what it looks like. Now we're going into the sun, so. But you got an island out here to kind of aim for. And this is your sight picture as you're coming into the cut. Now the, the current is so strong here, look at where our nose is to go straight. Coming out of uh, one cut, this is all called the uh, same cut. Ash poop, Kusaw cut. But uh, right by that marker, just up Rock Creek here, oh, about 75 yards. There's another anchorage marked on some of the charts. Not a lot of protection out here, just grass. And just a short jog on the Ashapoo and we'll uh, bear to port here and take another cut. Now this is kind of hard to figure out, I know, but we've come down to Kusaw over in here and we're taking all these old cuts. Here's the Ashapoo that we're on. We're going to go in the south of Disto, up, across, and then winding in. We're trying to, to reel in uh, Charleston today, and it, it's a windy, twisty, turny type deal. But uh, eventually, hopefully, we can get there. I'd like to take a look at uh, Fort Sumter out here as we go by. Or we have just a very short cut into the uh, south of this dough from the Ashapoo. And it's bringing the boat right around around. Just like Georgia, boy, you really have to watch it going through these cuts. Uh, Should be coming up on State Road uh, 174 Bridge. That'll be around the corner, I believe. It'll be 65 feet. Around Wadlaw Island, we got the got some major construction going on. Probably explains where a lot of that traffic came from last night that we had. It takes a lot of people all doing their share to make America work. There's barge construction going on. There's another one. Coming up on Goshen Point, which begins a very narrow cut, goes back through here for miles. That's what it looks like uh, coming into Charleston. Continuing up the Stono River, this uh, bridge goes over to Johns Island, super bridge. Situation, we're in the Stono River and uh, we're trying to get up. There's a cut that we go through. Off our stern, we've got a barge coming up. He's coming very fast, so I just turned around. He's fishtailing as he's lining up, and a lot of times he was lining up with us. So I just turned around so I can see him. There he goes going by. You never argue with a barge or a ship. They're almost always going faster than you are.
That's a big tug right there. In our neck of the woods, surely. Now the wake he's making is not nearly as big as some of these big speed power yachts when they put their nose up in the air and make as big a wake as they can. For us, we're going through the wake right now and see it, it's, it's no problem. Now he's going in the cut right about where we'd be so you can see why I opted to let him go past. Now this cut is called uh, Elliott Cut and it's going to dump us right out on the uh, Ashley River right close to uh, downtown Charleston. Now here's the cut coming in right into the Ashley River, Charleston. Look at this water. And we got a super bridge to go under and then uh, we're right in the old town of Charleston. He kind of got a little sideways there and he's trying to straighten himself up. And thank you again, Walter. Be the welcome, Captain. That was some that was some good seamanship right there. Really pretty from the water. to the right of the hospital here. This is the old section, the old wharfs and old part of town. And we'll go over there fairly close to it, cruise it so you can see it. We may may not be back this way again ourselves. So. Half the point and uh, dead ahead of the bow here. That is uh, Fort Sumter. As we round the tip of the island, here's the actual old town. On the inside of the harbor. I had two grandparents that were raised by their grandparents, both on my mother's side. And the grandparents were uh, both Civil War veterans. On my granddad's side, the, uh, they lived in a little hamlet called Bannockburn, just outside of Willacoochee, Georgia. And the school teacher came and told him that uh, the 
Federals had come and they were about to burn their houses down. And so the boys headed out with their shotguns and whatever they had and formed a line in front of the Federal line. Of course, they, they kneeled down and the Federals got off a of volley first and my great-grandfather's both brothers on either side of him fell back dead and most of the Confederate Confederates and uh, when the Federals ran over to charge the line they realized they had uh, they just killed a bunch of school children because that's uh, that's what they were and thus ended the military service of one George Washington Vickers on that day he was wounded and uh, sent to Atlanta and reported dead to his mother and when he came back to uh, finally got well and came back to uh, Bannockburn she wouldn't let him in the house at first she thought he was a ghost and what happened to my grandfather himself was uh, he and his uh, brother and sister the, the mother died and uh, the new stepmother didn't accept the three older kids and so they they wound up staying with their grandfather who was George Washington Vickers here in Bannockburn Georgia and the other grandfather now he was a true believer he James Monroe Gresham he joined the uh, 42nd Georgia virtually on the day the war began and uh, as a lieutenant and my grandmother who was a difficult child she was sent to live with him he was a after the war he was a school teacher and Georgia legislator a big wig in the in the Democrat Party at the time and all that sort of thing but uh, he had served with uh, one of the most ill-fated armies to ever exist that was the army of the Tennessee under General Bragg and the last one General Hood around Atlanta so uh, and then it captured in North Carolina and went on to serve in prison at Johnson's Island if you're up on your history you know that the Civil War began here opening shot and this fort was shelled unmercifully by uh, both sides it became a, a symbol unfortunately for those uh, within whoever they were whatever side they were on uh, it, it was hell on earth inside those walls all right that's green 127 on the right you would think this would be a lot bigger opening coming into the intercoastal over here but it's not it's just a little tiny thing this is all you're looking at just this little cut right here right right in back and here's our 703 swing bridge over to Sullivan's Island. It's 4.15 and we're both pretty bombed out. It's uh, been a long day. We didn't get any sleep last night with all the barge traffic now. Uh, there's a little inlet creek here and we're just going to come off right here. We're in backside of uh, Sullivan's Island. Uh oh, shouldn't have done that. Never do that. Never put your finger on the screen. Okay. And that's what it looks like right over here we're not going to go in very far just just right in the end of that, that great big barge that takes up virtually all the space is up ahead of us so knowing that that kind of stuff comes through here we're not gonna camp uh, you know camp right over here next to the grass <laughs> 